I have a fortune cookie, but I want to read it special. Read it special. Oh my god. Oh gosh. A secret will be revealed to you soon. In bed. In my pants. Just. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rex Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Stephanie. I'm Rick. It's a lopsided. It makes you look chicken-eyed. Uh, <laughs> today, we are back. Sorry, Patreon. Uh, for you on YouTube, this this is just the next day. Uh, we went a few right. days uh, on, without doing an episode reaction on Patreon, uh, which was unfortunate because the last two episodes were our absolute favorite. We, uh, the great episodes. Yeah, we want to really keep going. So <laughs> um, but anyways, we are on to episode five today. Uh, this is uh, called A Marriage of Convenience. Um, let's see. Yeah, and so in the last one, we saw our lead lady leave that guy in the hospital room, right? Yes. And right, but we didn't know. We where didn't she know go with that. what she was going to do with that. Uh, we saw mm -hmm. our girl Jazz doing some dude. Yeah. Uh, and because she just got fired for being stupid, you know. Uh, and yeah. that other guy was. But isn't, isn't that the first thought everyone has that once you've lost your job go find an old skank and bump your nasties that's what my mom always taught me uh, um, and then our other lead uh, was yeah. having sex with somebody and that perv the of a landlord, landlord was yeah. jerking off to him uh, being all pervy because you know you know something's going to happen like his wife's going to catch him then they're going to blackmail him because uh, obviously he can't find out that he enjoys watching gay people have sex obviously there's a bunch of stuff wrong with that uh, <laughs> um, but something's going to happen with that I don't know if it's going to be blackmail right. I don't know if it's going to be like yeah. that guy's going to be like you're going to have sex with me if you don't want me to kick you out Some something's gross is about to happen with that I feel well more than it's already happening <laughs> it's already it gross almost yeah, it almost, that segment almost feels like it's going to become a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't put, uh, don't put cameras in people's uh, rooms and watch them, you creeps. Yeah, uh, no, that's, that's creepy. The government's doing it enough. Why do you <laughs> uh, need it, to add? I don't know if you're going to continue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, but yes, so uh, if you are new here, if you're this is the first episode you're watching, I can only use five minutes of picture in picture on YouTube, so it's gonna be heavily cut up. I'm sorry, but that's what we have to do. Amazon's rules as well as those family man, but our luck, five minutes, and that's it. Um, so uh, if you would like to see the full uncut version, head over to Patreon. Patrons have had our full reactions for way before you guys saw this on YouTube, uh, so go check that out all right let's just jump on in here ready let's let's do it ready three two one what is that a contest to see who would be his wife <laughs> what <Really>? huh <laughs> what is happening I think, it, I think that was a contest to see who'd be his wife oh my gosh Guys, guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Do it the old-fashioned way. Just fall in love when you, when, but in school. <laughs> oh, also, and on Patreon, I forget, I didn't tell you. Uh, after the last episode about that girl who walked out because of the dowry thing, lots of girls on Patreon said, "This happened to me. I walked out because my future fiance basically said uh, they wouldn't make their family back off because of the dowry." Wow. Which is great for all these women that did that. More more power to you women. Yeah. yeah. And also, if you're a guy and you don't stick up for your girl like that, you're a dick. Prashant Nair is the director, the new director for this episode. Yeah, a new director. It's been every two. Zoya did the first two, then there was... Okay, then I think you'll be perfectly in I your place I think someone to... who's never had a real relationship should not be giving me advice. Sir, आप जो कहेंगे वही करेंगे ना महिला का थोड़ी सुनेंगे ये सुनो ये महिला मैडम मेरी बात समझे कि नहीं 
जो बोल रही है चुपचाप कर दो Just lashing out at everyone today, aren't we? Seriously. I really like his character, though. Me too. This <laughs> 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 laptop. You were using it. बैठे बैठे मेरी बात तो नहीं मान जाएगी। no तुम ये वीडियो पुलिस को दोगे? Good scene. That wasn't an easy scene. Speak to me. Next time you have to confirm shit. Yikes. Wow. She's taking a lot of anger out on people. And go to America. And I'm their ticket out. So it works both ways. Oh, excuse me. I threw up on my mouth a little. Yeah. He seems great. <laughs> the music throughout has been really nice. This yeah. Please don't phone you. Meri baat to sun lo Sukni. Kaun tha? Jeet ki pehle wali. Ke bhai. So you want to get another drink? You're not drunk at all. You just want to have sex with him. That's how I'm still in the meeting. Cheaters cheat, liars lie. Yeah, so their relationship started and she was the one that was the other woman. This is at least what it feels like. What I need is a promotion, and what I need is a raise, and what I need is not to be doing this production shit anymore. <laughs> Fucking shit, huh? Wow. It's him. He is impotent. I couldn't live with a lie like that. And at the end of the day, you need a physical relationship. Still, I have to go. A world where you've been made to believe that the price for your acceptance and happiness must be paid by you appeasing an entitled man. Not you, arrogant prick. And that's why she's staying. Right, because that's exactly what's going to solve the relationship mm-hmm. problems. Yep. Bring a child into that crap relationship. Yes, Karan Mehra. Ji, ab ek second. Arrest warrant hai tumhare naam. Chalo. Kya ek? Kyu? Under section three. Please. No, please. Oh, what an incredibly sad ending to the <laughs> I mean the whole episode yeah, was both of those scenes. Yeah. Well, cuz you had obviously this really sad moment of this girl that's just like this is my life. I'm I'm doing this to go to America and be with this asshole for the rest of my life or at least until, you know, he dies i don't know which you know is an incredibly sad thing to put yourself through uh then obviously 
our lead actress just it it sucks but i also want to commend the writing it, that's a very real thing that happens yeah. people oh. keep Absolutely. going very back very to people that hurt them over and over yep. and over and over again yep even though there's yep. like there should be no reason that they should trust this person but they're just, right. I, I, whether it's that she wants a baby whether it's whatever uh that she just in her head she's like i i don't know and then obviously at the end i knew it was coming i knew that they had, uh, yeah he was they were gonna do something he was gonna get arrested or whatever but it was a great episode it was just <laughs> con- consecutive sad things that happened yeah what would you guys think? Um, it was a tense one. Yeah. There were a lot of really mm-hmm. sad things for all of our characters. Um, um, our the the production assistant or whatever she was fighting with her loyalty and her need to support her family, and that was a great storyline that they went deep into in this episode Mm -hmm. um and then jazz my heart breaks for her because just to be you know over your brother who is unconscious and spilling your guts out to him just Mm -hmm. so it was a very tough episode yeah it was it was another good one yeah Mm mm-hmm Yep, another good one. Well written, yeah. well well acted. Yeah. Um, I learned. Uh, Vicky told me this that the and you may know this, the the, the actor who plays Adil that we know from Padmavat. Yeah. He's actually he's actually gay in real life. Yeah, yeah. He he told me that too. And then the other the other actor who plays our gay lead is is hetero. And the, that just goes to show you that you you don't actors can act. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gays can play straight, straight can play gay, and it. it yeah, it's. <laughs> but he's fine. Yeah. There's certain things that you can't like race, but uh, other things. Uh, right. Yeah. Right. yeah you, but other ev- things are pretty. Ev- everything should be allowed to let the best performer act. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, he told me that as well. Both have been fantastic. Uh, Arjun, fantastic. I want to say their I want to say their names. Our lead uh, gay man is Arjun. Then uh, our lead uh, girl who keeps going back to the cheater is Sor- Sorbita, right? Sorbita. 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 Um, and then Jim is the uh, the uh, cheater's name. Adil. <laughs> Adil. His name is Jim. And then uh, hold on. Because I I wanted, didn't want to keep saying like our our lead actress <laughs> I I should yeah. know their actual names um, but yeah I thought she's doing a fantastic fantastic job um, really impressive yeah, everybody is a, a, every episode and it's so impressive I think we've mentioned this before how many small storylines they weave into this each episode. And it, it's not yep. like it doesn't feel like sometimes in films, like you feel like there's a lot of stories going on and I can't keep up with them. But I feel like they're all done really, really well. And you care about all the storylines. Like the one, obviously, their yeah. their assistant that they're about to you, you feel for her. And you obviously understand, like, they're not making any money right now. They can't give her a raise. But obviously, she deserves a raise. She deserves to be a partner, really, in this company and then obviously to what she's going through with him, I believe it's her ex or whatever um, is, is great and then obviously Jazz which is going to be interesting how they keep her involved because you would normally think obviously if she got fired from the company why are we still following her so obviously there's a story mm-hmm. that we're, we're still going to be Right with with her that we're going to be caught up on that. I don't know if it's going to weave its way back in, but the the writing is obviously Zoya and Rima, who is usually her writing partner on most things that they yeah. do. Um, so yeah. we we've been and only that, mentioned that, Zoya. That aspect, the the complexity aspect, it, it can't be overstated because they not only have the five or six main stories of our main people in every episode, but then they have the singular guest stars 
doing the marriages and those stories that they have to get us interested in and not have us lose interest, make it keep it believable, uh, keep it moving forward and make us care. Uh, it's 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 a the writing aspect of this is pretty sensational in terms of that aspect. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's, yeah. it's very yeah. comp- very compelling. Uh, and I feel it was a well directed. This one was directed by Prash Prash Prashant Nar. Um, I think that's close. Yeah, Prashant Nar. Prashant Nar. Um, and so I don't know if they. I don't know if the next one's going to be also directed by him as well. Um, but that's. It seems like what it, she. I thought the entire thing was Zoya. I know it's her writing, but I thought the entire thing was her directing. Mm-hmm. I didn't know she kind of split it up uh, with directing. I guess they did that with Sacred Games, too. It was Anurag and um, that other mm-hmm. guy. Um, but, yeah. I'm enjoying it. It's uh, it, it definitely took a roller coaster from the first two episodes, which we, we, we liked, but we didn't like. We weren't invested. We were just like... Oh, good. This is gonna be. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. This is, oh, go, oh, good. That person cheated on that one. Oh, good. That person cheated. <laughs> so, it kind of came around, uh, but and and also you mentioned the um, the score in it has been really subtle at times, but also really interesting uh, at other times. I I enjoyed that. Yeah, it's been very very nice. I've noticed it throughout. Just haven't said anything. It's been extremely good and it's just gotten better and better with each episode and it's such a unique show there's really nothing on television right now like this show I think it's really great and um man I please tell maybe it's obviously because when it was illegal but I that would be thrown out immediately in like let's say if this thing happened in the United States it'd say homosexuality was illegal if you put a camera in somebody's room, that one you're going to jail now. <laughs> right for invasion of privacy, exactly. And yeah, like the the cops can't even like like you have to be like way high up to do like wiretaps, and you have to get a court order to do a wiretap or, or stuff like that. So there's no way any of that's admissible. Like if you record something and the person doesn't know, it that's. Sorry, you can't use it. Also, you're filming them having sex. You're going to jail. You 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 creep. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I don't know what the laws are in that regard because we've come across things before, like when we were watching Delhi Crime yeah. about handcuffing people before they're convicted. Yeah. But another truth that you have to look at, which sucks, is many a blind eye has been turned by a full fist of dollars. That's true. Absolutely. So, so and yeah, obviously, at, at once again, at this time that this was made homosexuality was illegal so I don't know what goes into all that shit uh, and what awful law that is and hopefully not only will it not be illegal it will be legal to get married (laughs) because that is still not legal and makes me very upset um yeah yeah but well uh, it needs to happen it's ridiculous. Anyways, uh, yeah, fantastic episode. Looking forward to the next one. Uh, once again, if you'd like to see the full uncut version of uh, each react each episode, head over to Patreon. We got the full uncut reactions over there for our Patreon babies. Thank you so much to our beautiful Patreon babies. We love you guys. And yeah, on to the next you. episode. Just.